Hi everyone. Welcome to a relaxed look at Chroma Squad, the tactical RPG. Uh, Chroma Squad was released just a few days ago by Behold Studios. It was kickstarted in, um, I believe, August of 2013 and was just released in the last week. It is a tactical RPG inspired by Sabin's Power Rangers. So I believe I don't really know much about this game at all. This is almost like a first impressions as well. Um, but I believe the premise is that you are in control of a TV studio. And you are producing these television shows basically like Power Rangers. The music is very interesting and fantastic. I had to mute it just so I could get through my little intro, which had a lot of details in it. But let's turn it back up now. If we can drag it up. There we go. So the music is very catchy, as you can hear. And that's really kind of it for the settings. There's not much to do in the main menu. So let's go ahead and dive into a new game. Um, and let's, let's leave it on medium or interesting. Once upon a time, at a TV studio, just like any other. <laughs> Super Rangers, it's time for all stuntmen to get in the scene. Hurry up! That's too funny. And where are the minions? How did that one just appear out of smoke? Out of thin air? Oh well. There we go. All set for this part. Special effects will come later. I guess we're lacking some story, huh? Yeah. But Dr. Mia doesn't enjoy it that much. This is getting real boring. I'm kind of tired of... Stop talking while we're recording. Battle them. Or should I remind you? That you may click either walk or choose monsters that you want to attack. Director's instructions. Defeat three enemies. So this is the tutorial, I suppose. Um, similar to other tactical RPGs like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is the one I'm most familiar with. You have these blue squares, I guess, that let you know where you can move to, the distance that you can move. I guess this is our order. Yellow is a scout. Black is assault. Red is the leader. Blue is the techie. Pink is assist. I don't know if that means anything specifically, other than the perhaps at their abilities. So I'm going to... I don't know if attacking straight on or from the side is better, so I'm going to move to the side. And then audience bar. This bar shows the amount of audience gained on moves, skills, attacks, and enemy killing. Okay, so um, let's left click. Alright, got him. Alright, time for black. Just charge straight up the middle. It's interesting, even though we're recording a TV show, somehow we're gaining an audience? Even I, I, I mean, are we live, I wonder? It doesn't look like we're live. So I wonder how we're gaining audience, or maybe this is the expected audience, I'm not sure. Okay, so it looks like you actually have two moves total. So if I click here, will I just stop? If I right click? So it looks like I have to move to a new position, I can't just not, I can't just not move a second time. So we'll do this, there we go, enemy's turn. Dodge, of course. Aw. Oh. Hee <laughs> hee. Grar. Alright, squad's turn again. I've already defeated two, so let's go behind. Hit this simple minion. Director's instruction completed. 400 audience points. I guess that's good. I don't really know what audience points get me, but... Oh, 
Actually, I should try from the front. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that instead. I'm gonna see if I get reduced damage or anything from the front. It doesn't look like it. I still did just about as much. All right, basic tutorials finished. This is one of the best episodes I have seen so far in this season. He always says that as long as we're defeating the monsters really easily. I heard you. Now I want some acrobatics. We can add some explosions to them later. What kind of... Let me finish talking. You should use the teamwork maneuver to toss people around so they can move further. Ah. That's kind of like Deskaya. I know that Deskaya, another game like that, you can pick up friendlies and throw them. If you still don't get a word I said, use teamwork and then click on those yellow cells. <clears throat> We're ready. More enemies? Yeah. Oh, we're surrounded this time. Alright, they're ready too. So if I... Oh, I, I see. I can pick any order. Okay, good. So why don't I... Where's teamwork? Here we go. Combine actions between squad members. Use teamwork with a character. And then use him as a trampoline... Actually, that doesn't say trampoline, that says trampolim, with no E at the end, I think, to move further or attack an adjacent target. Okay, so let's click teamwork. Healing adjacent allies while positioned. I don't know what this is doing. So just clicking on teamwork does nothing, even though it said that's what we're supposed to do. I satisfy the condition? No. I'm very confused. It said to click on teamwork, yes? This is clearly not doing... Oh, okay. So I saw yellow squares. Okay. Okay, alright. So, I guess someone has to use teamwork. And they become like a vaulting point for someone else. Because there's no yellow here. Okay, let's test this. Let's click on yellow. There's no yellow squares on the outside. So let's, with pink, use teamwork. And then... No. Okay, now there are. Yes, okay. Understand. There we go. Took me a second. I didn't quite understand the uh, instructions. Another perfect scene. Be glad I'm here to tell you what to do all the time. Yeah, but your instructions were bad. Oh boy. I like how they do, they do like acrobatic moves every time they say something. Now show the audience some more teamwork. You know how it works. Attack a minion when someone is using teamwork next to it. Okay. I trust you guys won't hurt me. Poor stuntmen. Okay. So you'll move there and then use teamwork. And then black will run up and strike here. Oh, they both attacked. Okay. So he's still using teamwork? Or did that use his teamwork up? I think that might have used his teamwork action. Because, see, he's glowing with the stars, and yellow is no longer glowing, so. <laughs> Why me? I think that was it. Basically, just allows them both to attack, maybe get more damage. Great job! Keep it like that. I'm loving this. Move now so the boss can teleport into the set. Ooh, the boss. Where's the big girl in the monster suit? This is how you're going to do this. Remember your training. Put four of your adjacent, four of you adjacent to the monster in teamwork, and then attack the monster. Everyone around will help out. 
This is what we call a finishing move. Why is he saying all these things again? We've done these so many times. As he does a handstand. He just likes telling what pe people what to do, I guess. The monster will blow up when you do the finishing move. I need the five of you to do it together. Shouldn't we fight this monster before our finishing move? This feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. <laughs> Alright. Little uh, Backstreet Boys call out there, I suppose. Alright, move some allies into teamwork mode. And Pink will get the honor of finishing the boss. Chroma power! <laughs> I got a few achievements for that too. Great. You are so strong. X splendid. Now for the grand finale, the huge monster explosion. No. <laughs> that was that wasn't a huge explosion. This is ridiculous. Not even a giant robot fight. Hey. Actors just sit in their chairs. We stunt them and do most of the recording. I guess these are the actors over here, yeah. And besides, this is so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside and see different places. Come on, people. Our show is not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run our own studio? Oh my, that's just the perfect idea. So the stuntmen are going to run their own... Their own... I guess they're going to become chrono, chrono, Chroma Rangers instead of Super Rangers. Let's do this. Have fun leading a studio that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Mia. Bye-bye, Dr. Mia. And please stop being so mean to your employees. Apparently he's very upset. So that's how the story starts. Um bit of the tutorial there. I'm sure it gets goes a bit more in-depth than that. Leave the suits at the door. Cool. Well, uh, let me cut the video here, and then once we get back into some more action or uh, some something uh, to do with the actual, I believe, the management of the studio, I'll kick it back on. Also, be right back. Alright, guys, so uh, we have our own warehouse now. It's just a short time later in the story, and they want us to get started making a first season. First we need a name for our studio. Let's go with um, s Snoozing Studios. There we go. Not the most exciting name perhaps, but definitely a good name when you're trying to be nice and calm. Alright. Uh, we can customize our team now. The lead. The leader of your squad, taking responsibility for the group and always acting honorably. This role specializes in protecting the team and inspiring the rest of the team. So we'll start with the lead of, obviously, will be Tristan. We can pick who it is. Weasley, Weasley Stripes. Uh, actually, I kind of like that. Sure. Extra pistol damage. Cool. 10% health. Looks like the lead also just gets a, a default 50% health. Um, hmm. So let's see. Tommy was the Green Ranger, right? He wasn't really the leader. Wait, was that... Was he with the White Ranger? Now I don't remember. That's okay, we're going to go with blue. The blue ranger is going to be the leader. We're going to defy uh, tradition. Was there even a blue ranger? I don't think there is. Well, there's one here, I guess. But Alright, the techie. The team's most resourceful fighter. Combining the use of items and weapons with the superior intellect. Specializes in long-range combat through skill. Gain skill regen when you use a skill. Hmm... Let's make the techie the Black Ranger. And we will have him be...
minus dodge, minus counter, plus mecha health. Skill regen, but minus health. The alien could be useful here. Since he's, since he, I don't, I'm not sure what skill regen is. That's maybe the cooldown between abilities. But since the techie is going to be a long-ranged fighter anyway, having minus health would probably be useful. Not plus sword damage here. Could have a beaver, Mr. Beaver. <laughs> Dude Lee. Hmm. Alright, I think we'll do that. I think we'll go with the alien. Health isn't great, but that's alright. Alright, the assist. Oh wait, I forgot to pick a name. His name is Color? Hmm. Let's go with um, E.T. There we go. Assist. The dearest friend of everyone in the team. Always optimistic and holding the squad together through the toughest moments. Specializes in healing and bow attacks. Skill regen. World famous. This actress will attract lots of fans. Um, sure. That's fine. We'll just stick with that. Scar is not a good name, though. Uh, oh, do we leave her the pink ranger? Hmm. I like red. I think the red. Because red is healing, right? Sort of. <laughs> Actually, green is healing. At least in, like, MMO terms. I guess red. Red would be good. Or white. I think white works. Um, and she will be named... Or at least the character will be named. Let's see, we got E.T. We got Tristan, of course. Hmm... What could we name this? We'll just we'll just be the helper. There we go. I like that. Nice and simple. Assault brings raw power and strength to your team strategy. This role is responsible for dealing the great damage, or the greater damage, exploding things, and wielding an enormous axe. All right. So that will be red. Plus three critical. Plus twenty attack. I like that person who was good with... What was it? Good with swords. There you go. Ashley Smith. She does not take no for an answer. Hmm. So since this will probably be a sword character, let's go with the bride. Nope, that's the bridge. The bride. There we go. Although now I feel like she should be wearing white. And the assistant, the helper, will be red. Alright. The scout. The agile acrobat in the team. A daredevil warrior that brings movement and grace to the fight. Specializes in moving fast and stunning enemies. Plus one base move. Actually, what was this? Plus 30% attack. Okay. Plus 20% counter. Hmm. Oh, I get it. This is a call-out to Walking Dead, Michonne. Expert survivalist, this actress has survived hordes of fans. Very clever. Could have a robot. Hmm. Ryo Yoshi could be good. Plus movement, and that's what the scout wants. Minus 20 weapon attack, so not going to be super strong. But he'll get the job done, I think. Let's go with Ryu. Cool, I think that's my team. Although, do I want the scout to be yellow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the yellow scout's fine. Cool. Snoozing Studio Season 1, Episode 1. Got $1,000. Let's see. You're about to confirm your squad setup. There's no turning back. Alright. Sounds good. Uh, now... Um, a part that I didn't record, this giant purple thing in the middle appears to be some kind of, not sentient creature, but a robot type. And um, it's going to, I guess, help me in some way. I'm not sure how. Uh, so it looks like I come down here if I want to start an episode. So let's look at the shop. So you can buy gear for each character. Yeah. The helper, E.T., Tristan, the bride, Ryu. <laughs> 
I have a thousand dollars. Plus fifteen health, plus ten attack, twenty-five health, six skill regen. Weapons. Here we go. Here's good weapons. A toy sword. There is no pointy end. Is it possible to see what they have equipped already? Doesn't seem like it. I guess weapons is probably the best thing right now, huh? So, for sure, for uh, ET, we want to equip a gun. Did I? Did it? Did it equip? I guess it did. There's literally just no way to know what they have equipped. I guess it's a little unfortunate. Maybe on another screen I'll be able to to figure it out. For sure, gonna give a sword to the bride. And we'll give a sword to the scout as well. And uh, a sword to the leader. There we go. And then I think we'll have a gun equipped on the assistant, the helper, and the alien, ET. So we have two guns, three swords. And I have $110 left. I hope I don't need that money for something else. Upgrade your studio and create catchphrases. All actors get 10% HP. It costs 150 to purchase, and then 25 for each episode. Healthcare bronze, SD camera, 10% audience gain from director instructions. Workout bench. Crafting rates. Increased audience. Shop partnership. Discount. Ah, you can buy a bigger studio. Looks kind of nicer, too. What about studio options? I, I like Chroma Squad. I think that's fine. Transformation. Chromatize. Transformation shout. Lights, camera, chromatize. Mecha name. Um. That's fine. Mecha call shout. Uh, let's do a Pacific Rim. Go. Finishing move, chroma power. That's all fine. That's all fine. Save. Alright, let's go back. Take a look at our actors. Maybe here it will show what they have equipped. Yeah. Cardboard helmet. Improvised suit. Here's my toy sword, which is good. Got two guns, three swords. Skills? Wow, it's pretty in depth. Season two, season three, season four. Heal a single ally up to four tiles away for 50% health. So can I activate this at no cost? I can. Okay. So the assistant will be a healer. Good. Uh, the ranged character. Attack all enemies for 80% damage. Range 3 requires pistol. Cooldown of 4 turns. Or target up to 4 tiles away. Takes 30% more damage for 3 turns. So an AoE attack or an exploit attack. I think we'll do an exploit. Since he's the techie, he's kind of a, be a, a bit of an assistant, kind of like the assistant will be. The lead only has one skill. Pull an enemy up to four tiles away to the closest position adjacent to you. Can't change that up. The assault, same thing. Allies execute teamwork acrobatics with you. May jump two extra tiles. Okay. And then stunning pose. Stun adjacent minions and daze adjacent bosses. Very nice. Then you have a bunch of stats for all kinds of stuff, which is kind of stuff we've seen before, so that's fine. The menu, yeah, we'll save. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything else we can click on. Let's go ahead and record our first episode. First episode. The pilot episode for your very own series. Today, Chroma Squad will deal with a new threat that has appeared near a science lab. Max audience is 2,800. Location, warehouse of Blue's uncle. Okay, so my director's instructions perform three team acrobatics and keep all actors above 50% health. That's part one. Part two, defeat boss monster with the finishing move and defeat all minions before attacking the boss. That seems easy enough. 
So let's go into the start of the season. Episode 1. There's our team. Wow, our first episode. That's awesome. What if our first story was about a group of monsters trying to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them. Is that the alien talking? I don't actually know if if the different actors have different lines, or if they say, you know, if they have different inflections on how they talk, it doesn't seem like it, since the alien is just kind of talking regularly. Anyway, he says, yeah, great, but hold on, we should add a narrator, so don't start the action yet. Once upon a time, a group of heroes is born. What do you think, Tristan? I heard that it was a good plot, that, that a good plot starts like that. It's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once up time... Oh, I didn't even notice that. The guy who sold us the narration software told me it's one of its quirks. We should just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. And their first task is to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Hmm. But aren't the minions kind of late? Where did they go, Ryu? I don't know, Tristan. They should have... They should hurry. What do you say, the helper? Aw... Oh. I didn't know they were going to refer to them like this, so now that's going to be kind of silly, but... They must be getting dressed. Don't worry. Let's just have fun with our new job. Here they come. We'll have lots of editing to do. E.T. Action! <laughs> noises, noises. Oh, they're kind of like squirrel. Hey, you all. Get ready for some action. All right, perform three team acrobatics and keep all actors above 50% health. Should be easy enough. Here's the scout. I think I will move him here and set up teamwork. There we go. So now my assault can be thrown and I can get a strike on the lame nutcracker. for justice. Doesn't seem like I actually have the ability to, um... Let's see, can I, can I shoot from here? No. Oh, right, because I'm still... I haven't chromatized yet. Chromatize. Get more audience to chromatize and get access to skills and weapons. Alright. I'm going to run and flip to here and attack the corner. I like that I can... Oh, he dodged. <laughs> Don't say ow if I didn't hit you. I like that I can attack into corners. It's one of those nice things. Okay, um, let's attack. He's unfortunately a bit too close. I need to remember that his HP is... Oh, nice. Good counter. His HP is lower than everyone else's. Just a costume wound. Alright, I think it's time to chromatize. We're getting surrounded. Here we go. Lights, camera, chromatize. Nice. Lights, camera, chromatize. Alright. Sword or stunning pose? Hmm. I think I want to step right here and use stunning pose. Look at that. I hit all four. Stunning pose! Nice. And then I can swing as well. Let's go ahead and hit this one that's a bit low. Okay, so it still doesn't have like a sword swinging effect. I wonder what this is here. Oh well. Um, this is the lasso? Yeah. So why don't I do that? I'll go ahead and pull this guy close. Eagle lasso! Looks like using an ability doesn't take up a turn either, which is good. I think we'll have black move. Actually, can black just shoot from here? Yeah. Alright, and then we'll have red also shoot from here. Pretty long range, which is good. Nice. Enemy's turn. Only gonna have one enemy move. Yeah. And that's it. So we'll just mop these squirrel enemies up real quick. I'll tell you what, 
I will move here and use teamwork. And then I will have red shoot. See if we'll get a team attack. Oh, okay. Well, that finished him off pretty quickly. And then we will just fire our gun. Oh, it's, it's got a cooldown. Okay, I see. Uh, so in that case, looks like the squirrel is going to get to go again. Which is fine. <laughs> he just laughs it off. And then we'll hit him once. There we go. Alright, good. Got both of the director's instructions finished. After defeating the powerful aliens, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. Oh man, it's Stoplight Man, or Traffic Man, I guess. That's an amazing entrance, Transit Mancer. This will be great to keep it up. I like that. Got the cone shape on the hat, traffic light. Chroma Squad, why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. What were you doing in that lab? It's none of your business. Who is that traffic light guy and where did he go? Wait, Bride, are you acting or are you really lost right now? Oh, come on, Bride, you am acting. Go with the story. Okay. Well, I don't know, Bride, and I can't track, with, track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right. We should go see Cerebro. Poof. Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's chamber. <coughs> they reach the place with the glorious teleport effect. I don't think the narrator should say that. Wow, E.T. I didn't expect you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me neither. This looks much better than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do they want that research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it is the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting, detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see this Cerebro device working. And they poof back out. Chroma Squad heads back. The teleport effect is not ready. <laughs> to the scene. Running. <laughs> Where are the monsters? Can't wait to use my special poses. Oh man, it's cardboard box man. How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough. You are so late, boxing box. <laughs> this won't happen again. I'm sorry. Back to our lines then. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm i cardboard. Wow, that was terrible. Minions, join me. Alright, so I got five minions I need to kill. Six to kill before I even hurt the boss at all. Defeat the boss with the finishing move. Defeat all monsters before attacking the boss, right? Alright, so um, let's just see if we can't use the sword to instantly kill. Nice. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Oh, I need to get close first. Definitely want to reduce the amount of damage they can deal to me very quickly. Right, I think I will have our techie move here and activate teamwork. So now let's see. No, I can't get much further, so that's fine. So I'll just run ahead and just kind of hang out here, let them come to us. Same thing, move here. And, uh, and, uh, just wait. Doesn't seem like there's a wait option. Yellow's gonna counter. Ooh, almost wiped him out. Alright. So I want my squat, my squout, I want my scout to get his stun. So I think we'll run behind the enemy, perform a stun. It's actually gonna only hurt, or only catch two. 
which is fine. I'm not sure what Dazed is going to do. So, we can now attack. No, I can't attack. That's too bad. I'll just hit this one. Alright. The Bride is going to go. We'll finish. Well, let's not, let's not aim for the stun one. Probably should have used the sword there, but that's okay. The techie will finish off this one. And then helper will finish off this one. Great. Boxing box performed super punch. Looks like they stunned him. Stunned, uh... Who is this again? <laughs> Uh, okay. Wait, is that all? Is that... I guess that's all of them. Yeah, great. Let's go ahead and get... Let's see, he has 400 HP, so... Did 54. Definitely want to use my, uh... Exploit, my fine weakness, on him. And then I'll shoot. Bang. And I want my healer to heal... Uh, heal Dukin is the name of this. Very nice. Go ahead and heal the stunned bride. There we go. Enemy's turn now. Squad's turn. Oh, okay. Looks like he's within finish range. Is that what that's saying? I'm not sure. I don't want to. I don't want to try it just yet. I don't think. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was bad. I didn't think he was going to be able to counter. Alright, let me actually lasso him. Pull him close. Just that way he probably has a higher chance to go after Blue, the leader. It's fine. just wanted to get him a bit lower before I do a finish. When it said finish it on there, that might have been saying, hey, he's low enough. I'm not really sure. But this way, I'll, I'll at least... Oh, no. I knocked him back closer to yellow. That was a mistake. I can't heal either. Well, I hope he doesn't incapacitate yellow. That would really be bad. Oh, thank goodness for that dodge. I'd looked pretty lame if that had happened. Alright, let's set up our teamwork kill. Just like in the tutorial. I think I want the leader to finish him off. Yep. So we'll place all of our Chroma squad nearby, and then I believe we just left click, right? I believe that's how that worked. There we go. Chroma power. All right. I've been recycled. What about that transit mancer? The monsters always come back when they fail in their first try. It will show up soon enough, Ryu. And when it does come back, we'll be there to stop it. To be continued. <coughs> Excuse me. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. Alright, so that was the end of Season 1, Episode 1. Looks like we got a few drops here. That we could probably turn into, yeah, can be combined to create items. And then we've got almost a full audience. Almost the 28, 2800 was the cap, so we got pretty close there. <laughs> we got some tweets happening, I guess. That was some awesome moves. Hashtag Chroma Squad. We gained 79 permanent fans, or at least fans. I don't know if they're permanent. And got $528. Cool. Now we can craft. We can build some gloves, some boots. Doesn't look like we can build the suits yet. Can't build weapons. List of materials? Yeah. We can craft leather, craft silver tape, or we can recycle parts into, or uh, we uh, weapons and items down into parts. Or we can just straight up buy a common material pack. Okay. 
got one one letter a message from Jupiter hi friends it's Takeda from the cyber police I'm writing to congratulate you snoozing studios you are doing such a great job I really hope we can record something something together sometime chroma squad is amazing Tomoko sent a hug her Venus armor that you designed turned out really good but we've crafted it too late for our season finale um, we can reply we'll say hearing from you is super inspiring so that may affect our ability, perhaps, to, uh... Oh, cool, we got 60 more fans because of that, I guess. But maybe now in the future, he'll show up, and we can do something with him. Maybe if I'd replied the other way, maybe he wouldn't show up. Might be a lost opportunity in the future. Anyway, that was a uh, relaxing look at Chroma Squad. Um, I like it. You know, the humor's a little cheesy, but the, uh... Tactics seem to be there. I like the teamwork mechanic. Seems to be pretty fun. Uh, but that's it. That's it for the relaxed look. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.